A woman's death is under investigation after she died while in state police custody last night. Authorities say the incident began with reports of a woman assaulting her three-year-old child. It was then when they stepped in and they realized that she may be on drugs. Brad Mavak was at the state police headquarters in Oneida this morning with more on the ongoing investigation. Brad. Hi again, Jody. Yes, as you mentioned, we are at the state police troop, the headquarters in Oneida, where at some point today we're expecting to hear a little bit more from state police regarding that incident that took place last night in Munsville, which is about 10 miles south of where we are here in Oneida right now. And earlier on this morning, we had an opportunity to go to Munsville to talk to some of the folks that witnessed a very eerie incident last night. Heather Ames of Munsville was devastated when she witnessed 35-year-old Pam McCarthy punching McCarthy's three-year-old son outside her North Main Street apartment. We heard like a growling, I thought maybe it was a dog and a kid crying, so we went outside, opened up the door, and there she was laying on the ground, holding her three-year-old kid in her arms and just beating him. McCarthy lived in the second apartment in this apartment building here on North Main Street in Munsville. The neighbors say they believe that it was drugs that possessed her to bring her child into this parking lot and begin choking and punching that child. Ames attempted to get McCarthy off the young boy. McCarthy then followed Ames into the apartment next door. She grabbed me. She was swinging her arms. I thought she was going to hit me, but I was blocking her, and she scratched me in the face, and then she grabbed me by the hair. State police arrived a short time later and used a taser to gain control of McCarthy, who went into cardiac arrest and died after resisting police. It's believed McCarthy was under the influence of bath salts. The child, three-year-old Jai Williams, was taken to Upstate University Hospital and treated for minor injuries. The boy's father, Jason Williams, had an on-again, off-again relationship with McCarthy. I told her mom, she needs help. Dad, everyone says, get rid of her, get rid of her. And I tell all these stories, I got nothing to say. I love her, love her to death. It's kind of scary that it's so close to home. You hear about this stuff in other states, and it's really scary that it was so close to home. An autopsy should reveal McCarthy's exact cause of death. So as you can see, a very heart-wrenching situation out in a very small village of Muntsville in Madison County. But again, we are in Oneida. State police uh, expected to give a news briefing at some point today, and we'll be here for that, and we'll bring you all of the details as they become available. For now, we're reporting at the Troop D Barracks in Oneida, Brad Bovacqua for YNN.